Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Okay. What do we got here? I think I got everything. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Welcome, welcome, and welcome. Hey, there we are. Hot dog. There we are. Hello and good morning, everyone. Good morning. How are you? Happy Saturday. All right. We're just hanging out today. And hello, Ruby. We are um, we are not inviting anybody into our discussion, and we're just going to hang out today. We are just going to hang out today. You know, the thing that surprises me the most is how many notifications I get that your subscriptions are expiring. And ah, hello, Haley. This is my cereal bowl. This is my cereal bowl that I actually, um, I drink my coffee out of and I eat my cereal out of. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Vanessa. How are you, Haley? Thank you for my daily heart. All right, everybody, this is Coffee with Lonnie. We're just going to hang out for the next um, hour or so. Um, hello, Todd and Tanner's here. Hello, everybody. I know uh, Robert calls this my coffee bowl. And um, I absolutely 100% agree because I love a ginormous cup of coffee. Good morning, Haley. Thank you for my coffee. So we're going to just hang out. When what we're going to be doing today, everybody, is I'm going to be working on my journal. Now, this is a self-guided journal, and I did get it off the TikTok shop, and I do have it tagged. So if you want to check it out yourself, you absolutely can. Good morning, Annie. If you don't want to, then you can just, hello, just preached kindness. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, I absolutely, um, I love doing like a variety of just like, just something different. And so one's, one's Matt, one's not, one's French, one's not. Hello, Emily. So we are going to, again, we are going to, uh, I just got that all over my face. We are going to work on my shadow journal. And, oh, very cool, Haley. So where we left off last week is basically... Okay, so just jumping right into the very first page that I turned to. Hello, Sarah Lou. Good morning, Nat. So the very first page I turned to, not even without any sort of intention, which sometimes I really do think that when we do things like this, um, just kind of going and picking the first thing that you see is sometimes the best. But um, in a nutshell, what is a shadow journal? A shadow journal is a self-guided journal. It's basically something that just asks you um, it asks you questions about yourself. And then it, it is your opportunity to kind of explore things in your life that you might not be cognitively aware of. And also to, good morning, Sarah. And also to, it's just, um, it's a way for you to explore things that you might have in your past that you're pushing aside, I guess. It's a, it's a self-guided journal. And I personally think journaling is super important, but I myself know that I'll sit down to journal and I'll be like, what do I write? I don't even know where to begin. And what this does is it helps me figure out where to begin. So that is exactly why self-guided journals are so important. Um, okay, so starting right off, we're going to ask a question. It says parental influence. Now, we all have parents and they have influ influenced us either in a one way or the other, whether it's good or bad, our parents have influenced us. So this one says, what part of your parents or guardians do you notice reflected in yourself? I see my parents in me all the time. Um, again, some good, some bad. Um, I take that for what it is. But um, I mean, it is what it is. I take the parts that I like from my parents and I try to accentuate those. I take the parts that I don't like from my parents and I tried to make myself a better person by not, um, by not um, perpetuating a, a trait that might not be the most pleasant. 
Good morning, Carson. Thank you for my puffy hearts. Okay, then it says, what traits, both good and bad, are you inheriting from them? So what is a good trait that I... Okay, a good trait from my parents. I think my parents were incredibly... Carson, thank you, Sonny, for my finger hurts and my heart puffs. Good trait that I think I get from my parents. I think my parents were, were extremely um, tenacious. They went through a lot of hardships. They, they got through it. They were very... Um, um, they were very gritty people. Let's just put it that way. And I think that I got a lot of that from them. You know what? Sometimes when I think like, you know, things aren't going quite the way I want them to, you know, maybe my platform isn't performing the way I want it to. Maybe I wake up and I'm like, oh, I just don't know if I can do this again. I think back to my parents and everything that they did and they kind of just, you know, they did it. I can do it too. So I do get that from my parents. Um, what... A negative trait that I got from my parents? Mm. Mm. Let's think. Let's think about that. Well, I was an alcoholic. I got that one from my dad. Um, yeah, I will just leave it at that one. And then it says, how can you break the negative behavior change that run through your family? Well, I'm sober. So there you go. I, um, I, I broke that one. So there you go. I mean, and this is what, this makes me think about it. So now I'm really thinking. It's like, I feel like I got a lot of um, emotional strength from my mom. Good morning, Garrett. You know, I got a lot of emotional strength from my mom. I got a lot of tenacity from my dad. Um, you know, I got a lot of just the um, pull up your boot, bootstraps and don't give up from both of my parents. So, you know, it, it's, it's that. I, 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 see, um, I see both of my parents in me, both, both, you know, both good and bad. And that's just, you know, and I think every single child does that. But, you know, it's, um, it's something that, again, you need to look for yourself and figure out what part of your childhood do you want to keep and what part do you want to make better. Um, so Haley says, I don't know if this is a good or bad thing or both, but I have my mom's giving trait and sometimes it's good, but it also burns me out and I don't know how to say no when I should just like her. Okay, Haley, that's a really good one because there, I, I personally think there's, there's a couple of different, um, I think there's a, both a couple of different types of people. There's givers and there's takers. I mean, that's just the way there is. There's I, I call it predator and prey. You know, there's people out there that are going to give, 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 give. And then there's people out there who um, are just like, take, 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 take. You have to, you have to, in something like that, Haley, you really need to start figuring out your own value of your own self. I mean, do you value their happiness more than yours? If you do, then you're, you're never going to, you're, you're just going to continue that trait. Because what you're saying to yourself and what you're saying to others is, is you know, I'm going to give you my energy because you, you're more important than I am. And that's really what it all comes down to. And you know what? And unfortunately, your mom probably did the same thing, but you can only control your actions. So if you're just constantly giving, 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 you know, people are going to be out there taking, taking, taking. That's just the way it is. I mean, it's human nature. So, you know, you kind of got to go for it that way. You know, that's just what I say. Good morning. Ah, Monica's on. Monica, 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 Monica. 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 And if you want, I know, you mean my coffee bowl, my salad bowl that I put coffee in? Um, again, y'all, this is a um, self journal that I did get off the TikTok shop. It is linked right there if you want to check it out. Um, South, hello, South. It says um, that's exactly what I'm working with there in therapy right now. I give and give, but never get anything in return. So I'm learning that. Um, yeah, I think a lot of it is when I was growing up, I always felt the need to that I needed to give to be seen. If that makes any sense, absolutely. Absolutely. And you know what's really crazy, everybody? And, and I'm trying to um, I'm trying to to watch both chats, but um, 
Uh, there, see, here's the thing is, is, as a child, I was completely invisible. And as a parent, I probably did the exact same thing to my children. And Kai, thank you so much for the subscription. But here's the thing, everybody, is I look back at being a child and I was completely invisible. I got into all sorts of trouble. I was the biggest troublemaker ever. And I totally went unscathed because I was completely invisible. So I totally get it. So it's like, wow, I did this and I didn't get in trouble. So I'm just going to get into more trouble and I'm going to do more because I wanted to be seen. Okay. So now flipping that back to being a parent now, when I was a parent, I was a single parent and I absolutely concentrated on the simple fact of surviving, raising my two kids. You know, I didn't see them as much as I should have because I was literally fighting daily to put food on our tables and to put electricity in our house. So we need to, as adults, step back and be, and, and, and take a very, um, non-emotional look at ourselves. Okay. We probably, again, don't have that sort of validation as a child, but what sort of validation are we going to give ourselves as adults? You know, we know I, I can't go back in time and ask my parents to pay more attention to me. But as an adult, I have absolutely every right to be like, I'm seen, you know what? I matter. So you can't rely on what happened in the past to fix your future. So you have to take that, that responsibility for your own actions now. And I mean, that might not be the, the softest answer to, to get, but it's, it's the truth. And Farrell, if you're constantly attracted to narcissists, then what is it in your, 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 your thinking that you think so, you, you just don't think very little of yourself and you want to be in that harmful relationship? I mean, we have to take action. We have to take responsibility for our own actions and our own thinking as an adult. There you go. We are also a different era of parenting, but seen, but never heard. Yeah. You know, and that's just the way it is. And like I said, again, you know, sometimes I might not come across as the most, um, the softest person when it comes to stuff like this, but you know what? Life isn't easy and life is not soft. So, and again, Personally, I know in my own journey, and the only thing I can talk about is my journey. In my journey, um, I didn't get sober until I took responsibility for my own life. I didn't get sober until I realized that there was nobody out there that was going to save me but me. And there was nobody that was going to hand me my happiness but me. So we have to all look at that. And if we have to tell people no to make our lives better, then we need to tell people no. So uh, my parents were born in the 60s, swept everything under the rug, and it led to never being heard. Oh, yeah. No, I was born in the 60s. I was born in 1964. And that's just the whole thing. It's, it's like uh, the, you know what? We didn't talk about emotions. We didn't do this, and we didn't do that. As an adult, I really, you know what? As a kid, I was always thinking, well, I want to do things different. As an adult, life was like, nah, you know what? That was, that was a nice thought, but here is... Um, here is the reality is, is that you're going to have to struggle daily for, for, to support your children. I think that this is a bad habit I took from my mom. She never spoke for herself or defended herself. She always made it seem like she deserved what was happening to her. So whenever I go through rough situations, I block myself and my brain just go like, oh, this is your fault. Yeah, absolutely. That is what you were raised to think. All right. As a, at a very young age, we're very, uh, we're like putty, all right? And we are, we're led to believe one thing. And again, and I'm going to say it, it is up to us as adults to take a look back at how we were raised and figure out what is working for you and what is not working for you, all right? If work, if, 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 if that's a bad trait, Nat, that you're going through and you know it is not a healthy, it's not a, an emotionally healthy trait, you need to sit there and be like, I deserve more. I deserve to not put myself second in front of the entire fucking world. So that is what you need to work on. And I'm going to tell you again, everybody, to figure out why we do the things we do 
you have to go deep into your psyche here and you have to write, you have to unlock those mysteries. All right. And I'm going to tell you again, and I don't care if you buy it off the TikTok shop and I don't care what you do. Find yourself. I mean, I do care what you do, but find yourself a self-guided journal and start figuring out what patterns you have that need to be changed. So, you know, that's what I'm saying. How do you learn self-love? Just like you learn anything else, okay? All right, I look at it this way. Self-love, self-improvement, self-everything is like, okay, let's just say you want to learn a new sport. You can't pick up a golf club and be like, I'm going to go join the PGA and I'm going to go win, all right? If you want to learn how to play golf, you need to practice. You need to maybe get a coach. You need to do some research. You need to look on YouTube. You need to learn how to play golf. If you want to learn self, if you want self-love, you need to learn how to give yourself self-love. All right. It's not something. This is a book that it's called the shadow work journal. I got it on the TikTok shop. It is linked right there. So it is, it's, and here's the thing, everybody, is nobody tells us this. Everybody, okay, if you're talking to a motivational speecher or you hear something, they're like, you need, you know, be happy, let things go. Well, how the fuck do you do it? You know, how do you do it? And I'm just like, well, let's, I don't know how you do it. I know how I did it, but I don't know how you do it because everybody's journey is absolutely different. All right. I can give you the tools of how to do it, but it's going to be up to you how you apply those tools. All right. And that's just why I, you know, I mean, again, my, my path to addiction looks like nobody else's. My path to sobriety looks like nobody else's. So you're on an individual highway of one. All right. Your road your life, your past cannot be replicated exactly. So you are unique to every aspect of who you are. So your journey, your recovery, anything that you do from this day forward is unique to you. How are you going to do it? I don't know, but you need to figure out the road, if that makes any sense. Yeah, a lot of people are walking around with band-aids from trauma. You can't heal until you rip it off. Exactly. And you know what? And truthfully, I've had a really shitty fucking life. I mean, that's just the way it is. And I choose to address some things and I choose not to address some things. I, however, am very a happy person. And it's not that I don't address some things. It's that some things I have, I have moved on past. So that is where I, you know, again, every healing journey is different. So cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. All right, let's move on. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay, inspiration. So now we are going to talk about inspiration because I mean, and here's the thing, everybody, again, just really quick, we're all traumatized. Every single child has been traumatized. Some worse, some less, some are horrendous, some are not, but every single child I think has at one point in their life has some sort of childhood trauma. So don't feel alone. You're not on an island and it's okay to talk about. So this is why I do these kind of like morning lives because I want to have this opportunity for you all to feel like you're not alone. So at the end of the day, this is why, um, Sandy, I agree. And this is why at the end of the day, I do this on Saturday mornings. I don't do this while I'm gaming and while I'm live because this is a heavy subject and I don't want anybody walking into a gaming stream and talking about childhood trauma. But this is just my time to sit here and say, you are not alone. Okay, inspiration, everybody. Time, think of a time when you felt a spark of joy and inspiration. Where were you? What were you doing? Were you with somebody? 
write about what inspires you, okay? So let's, let's just break this down. Think of a time when you sp felt a spark of joy or inspiration. Where were you? Um, hi, Harper. Um, probably, let's see. Well, I'll think about like what the spark of inspiration is when I started gaming. It was just something that was really, um, really, really, really important to me. And where were you? I was in my house. Okay. What were you doing? Um, I was figuring out and contemplating what had happened to my platform. All right. My platform, um, uh, cosmetology school. I realized I was, um, uh, in the perfect place for me. I love that Haley. And I was, I was sitting here contemplating like what happened to my platform? Why, um, mm, that's weird. Huh. Okay, so we're talking about the shadow work journal, everybody. I just got a little notice that we are not talking enough about the book. Apparently, I am off subject. So do you all still see the link or did they pull the link off? Just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity, because I keep talking about the book. Okay, all right. Well, we're going to keep talking about the book. All right, I'm gonna just keep on saying, uh, Shadow Works Journal, Shadow Works Journal, Shadow Works Journal. This is what we're doing. This is, I am talking about the Shadow Works Journal that I got off the TikTok shop. There, I'm trying to make sure that I don't get in trouble. All right, so I was, uh, again, referring to the Shadow Works Journal that I got on the TikTok shop because again, I wanna make sure that I'm not getting in trouble. Um, so I was here in my house and I was like, what the heck happened to my platform? All right. So I was like, um, was I with somebody? No, I was by myself. You know, I was sitting here and I was by myself and it says, um, well, I was kind of by, well, what I'm trying to say is Robert was here. Robert was gaming. And so I got inspiration from Robert, my child, um, if you it's if you're in if you're in the United States it's down below. So I got inspiration from my children. And here's the thing, it's like a lot of times we we I think inspiration can come from all places. And I get very inspired by my children. You know, I get I'm inspired by Robert watching his work ethics and I am inspired by Brandon for his tenacity of never giving up. So those are the two reasons, those are the two things that really just inspire me with my children so i think that is pretty um oh all right looking at the shadow work journal on the tiktok shop is where i got it oh my goodness todd just came in with and i think that's the beat thank you todd todd thank you yeah, it, it's only in the U.S. So I'm going to have to figure out how I can do my shop for the U.K. I don't know. Okay, so listen to this one, everybody. Judgment, all right? We're talking about judgment. Now, truthfully, y'all, nobody's perfect. Um, how has your relationship changed with your kids as you have healed yourself? Cookie Monster, I have a completely different relationship with my children. I had no relationship with my children when I got when I first got sober. Um, I one of the reasons I quit drinking and got sober was because my children hated me, and I didn't want to go through the rest of my life um, not having a relationship with them. So I decided to get sober so I could have that that relationship. So I have spent the last decade rebuilding a new relationship with my children and I could not ask for more you know I absolutely love my children and they have a lot of love and respect back for me and so if ever don't ever I, I personally don't ever think that there's not a relationship that cannot be rebuilt if so long as both people want it rebuilt and 
it's a two person job. It was my job as a parent to say, what can I do for you to help you heal and to help us move forward? All right. That, it, it had nothing to do with me. All right. If there's ever a mis if there's ever a rift between a parent and a child, I'm going to tell you right now, um, it's the parent's responsibility to fix that rift. I'm just going to say it. All right. And it is 100%. It was my job to hold, to have accountability for my past, to have accountability for my parenting. And again, to say, I fucked up. How can I help you? That's, and I, and I hear a lot of times about parents, about people who say, well, my parent says, you know, I did this and I did that. And that's, that's not a healing, that's not a healing journey. That's just a whole, um, that's a whole other story. And I don't want to say anything bad about anybody's parents, but I can only say for myself. Thank you for saying that I've been blaming myself. I needed to hear that. No, 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 no. Because here's the thing, everybody, is I have the unique perspective of, of, being able to be like, I was a child of an alcoholic and I was a parent that was an alcoholic. So I've had it on both sides, all right? I've seen it, I have felt it, and I have done it. And so I know as a child, what I would have expected out of my parents is what I turned around and I gave to my children. So it becomes a lot of shift blaming. My children take no accountability. My children did not one fucking thing to make me be that parent, all right? They were children. And no matter what they did, I was the parent. It was my responsibility, and I should have handled it better. That is a non-negotiable item, all right? There's no, um, there is no, um, okay, so there's no self-promotion here. I will, I, this is the second time that we've had to say that. So if you self-promote, I will ban you. This is the last place you need to be self-promoting your coffee. So I'm going to tell you right now, non-negotiable, all right? Your, your, um, your healing, uh, a child's responsibility has no, re no responsibility. Emily, you can go ahead and just ban them because I'm not going to, I'm not putting up with that again. Uh, you know, don't come on here a second time and do that. Thank you, Lonnie. And, but here's the thing though, is I think that as, and as a child, if you're looking for some sort of like rebuilding with your relationship with your parent, again, everybody's role, everybody's, um, everybody's journey is different, but I am telling you right now, um, please don't blame yourself for anything that your parents did. It is not, again, your responsibility. You didn't make your parents go, you didn't make your parents be the parents they are. I had no, I did nothing to make my parents do what they did. All right. So my children did nothing to make me do what I did. Period. End of story. Um, going through that now with my mom, she thinks I should be the one trying to make the efforts in our relationship. She won't reach out to talk to me. Um, Blue, I am, my heart breaks for you for one thing, because I know that it's harmful, but that's a, it's just not the truth. All right. I, I'm going to say that I don't, I rarely speak of my children's um, relationship with their father but it is not their responsibility to make him a better person it is not their responsibility to um to start any sort of healing relationship it is not your responsibility and until your mom can be like i'm the parent you're the child i want to make this better i, I there's just no healing so that's just what I say. Okay, getting back to our shadow work journal that I bought on the TikTok shop that is linked right there in the U.S. Um, let's go. 
I make sure that my uh, own daughter knows that I am here for her every damn day so she knows. And I love that. And you know what? And it takes a really, breaking any sort of pattern is a huge thing. And I'm really proud of you for breaking that pattern. No games. Uh, do, do, do. Nope. This is Coffee with Lonnie. We just talk in the mornings on Saturday mornings. Um, Lorenzo says, my parents have both passed, so I am on my own. Uh, yeah, both of mine have passed also. And you see, here's the thing, though, and I'm going to say this really quick. The, the way that I deal with my parents, the, the memory of my parents, is as a child, I did not understand my parents. I did not understand why my parents did what they were doing. I just didn't understand it. I was a child. As an adult, I have forgiven my parents. As an adult, I am the one who is in charge now. And I'm the one that is like, fuck, you know what? My parents were going through so much shit. No wonder they did what they did. So that is finding that just kind of like switching it from child to adult. We sometimes, I think we get stuck in the past so much that we forget we're in charge of our own emotions. Oh, okay, cool. You still speak pretty fondly of your parents. I love that. Oh, I love my parents. My parents, I absolutely would fight tigers for my parents and their memories. You know what? My parents did the best job they could. And my parents loved me. My parents never did anything purposely to cause me, to cause me any pain. All right? It, I was a product of an environment. But my parents never once woke up going, how in the hell am I going to make Lonnie's life miserable? You know, they just did the best they could. And I, the only thing I can ask for is the same sort of, um, the same sort of forgiveness from my own children. So, you know, how can I be angry at my parents when I'm asking my own children for forgiveness? You know, so I, 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 I bestow upon them the grace of forgiveness, just like, again, I would like my, my children to do for me. And sometimes we just need to, um, sometimes we just need to disassociate with people who are not kind people. I still don't understand why my did the, um, yeah. And you know what, Cammy? I can't ask my parents why they did what they did. You know what? Why, sometimes whys don't matter. Okay. Sometimes we spend so much time and so much energy trying to figure out why somebody did what they did instead of figuring out how we can be, how we can move on or how we can forgive. You know what? I don't know why my parents did what they did. I mean, it's, and here's the thing, everybody. I don't want to speak poorly on my parents because I absolutely love them, but my parents fought every single night. All right. It was a very hostile environment in which I grew up. There was no physical violence, but there was a lot of yelling, a lot of screaming, a lot of that. All right. I don't know why they did that. It doesn't matter why. What matters is, is how am I as an adult taking my past and going forward as a better person? It's just, I, I, I don't care why they did what they did. The only thing I care about is who I am today. Getting back to the shadow work journal, second edition that I got on the TikTok shop, that is linked there if you are in the US, because I need to keep saying that because it keeps telling me that I, am, I need to do that. Um, let's keep on going. All right, so part of this is more than just asking those questions, but it's like, um, like releasing stagnant energy, all right? I'm very, 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 I agree with this, that energy stays in our body and just gets stagnant. And this is really cool, again, it's all about releasing that. And one of the things to do is, touching the earth, you know, feel the ground, get it going, draw or doodle. You know, you can sit there and you can, um, you can draw or doodle, um, put on a song that you love and dance again, movement. You can stretch, you can breathe. You can sit in the sun for five to 10 minutes, go for a walk, do a meditation, or take a shower, envision the water washing away lingering negative energy. Again, such easy things to do that have such a huge impact on your mental health, all right? 
And I personally think if you're asking like, how do you start self-love? I think this is the perfect way to start, all right? This is the perfect, easy way to start your self-love journey in the most smallest of manners, but with the biggest impact. Um, yeah, Carson, I've ended up, I've started doing that. I've started just, you know what? I have like a little routine that I do every single day and I have included sitting in the sun. I don't care if it's hot or cold. And I, um, I just sat there and for like five, 10 minutes, I soak up the sun and I feel so good. So, um, I love self-care. Lush products or good skincare make me feel so much better. Absolutely, Lorenzo. I love it. But what I'm trying to get up the point across is sometimes we think that our self-care journey is super complicated or super expensive or super this or super that. And truthfully, it's not. Um, country boy, um, this is what I do Saturday mornings. So I'll be back tonight. It's okay. I'll be playing video games tonight. But on Saturday mornings, this is what I do. I talk about the self, the shadow work journal that I got on the TikTok shop that is linked right there if you would like to check it out. Um, and um, for the US, the link is showing. It's okay, honey. It's just, I, I, thought you, I thought everybody on my platform knew that on Saturday mornings I, I do this. Um, Okay, definitely need to try to integrate something from those things into my day to day. Yes, absolutely. So again, I'm gonna go over this list of things that help move your stagnant energy. Because on our everyday life, it's like, it's like walking through a field of flowers and there's pollen in the air and the pollen just starts to stick to you all over the place. Well, negative energy sticks to you all over the place. And so we need to release that negative energy, sometimes in the easiest way. And I'm going to reread the, um, I'm gonna reread what, and thank you everybody for sending in those gifts. It's hard for me to see the gifts because I'm doing this on my phone, but thank you very much. Okay, so again, touch the earth. Go outside, put your hands in the grass, put your hands in the dirt, put your hands on the ground. Super easy, everybody can do that. All right, stretch. Everybody can stretch. Thank you, Adam. All right, we have redemption channel points on um, the other platform. Love it, releases all that energy, okay? Um, draw or doodle. Pin to paper, super important. Pin to paper, super important. Put on a song you love and dance. I have music going every in every room I'm in. I have music going and every once in a while I just need to start dancing. So we I see you and we're gonna go for the walk after. Um hello Indy. Okay, yes, I see you. All right. So Indy wants to remind everybody that self-love is very important. Self-love is very important. Okay, write a poem. I don't, I'm not, I'm not a good poem writer, but again, pen to paper, pen to paper, um, make art, crafts. Okay. As a kid, um, Sandy, if you, if you have an Amazon prime account, you can actually subscribe using your Amazon, um, prime. So just so you know, um, as a child, I used to do puzzles. I used to do paint by numbers. I used to um, crochet. I used to knit. I used to do needlepoint. I was constantly doing crafts. I think crafts are an amazing way to have your cognitive brain be busy while your subconscious is releasing. Arts and crafts, super important, super important. Um, do gr uh, gratitude meditation. Gratitude meditation is nothing more than just thinking, sitting there and thinking of good things. You know, I woke up this morning. Um, I have an amazing friend. I, Andy is the best dog in the world. Um, I like chocolate. Just anything. It doesn't have to be ginormous, but do some gratitude. Um, yes, a, I love coloring. Um, bathe in the sunlight. Again, Carson and I, 
huge fans of bathing in the sunlight. Thank you, Dodge Girl. Go for a walk. I walk Indy every single day. And it's for her because she can't, she won't poop in the backyard. But I walk her every single day because that's my time to just be outside. My mind kind of it comes up with some pretty cool things. So make sure you walk every single day. And then take a shower. Again, showering is that moment where you are completely by yourself sometimes, I guess. Um, yes, Cookie Monster, I agree completely. Um, posting notes in your bathroom so you read that while you're getting ready in the morning, great idea. Um, thank you, everybody. So um, again, super easy things that you can find to do in your shadow work journal that is on the TikTok shop in the US. The link is right there. I have to keep on saying it because otherwise they say I'm not, um, I'm not talking about it, but we are talking about it. And this is what I do. I, I said here, you know, sometimes I just, I wanna think about things. Sometimes I might feel not as inspired or maybe I don't feel, ah, Dodge Girl, you're amazing. Sometimes I don't feel like, you know, sometimes it, it gets hard. Life can get heavy. And sometimes I don't know why. Um, but this helps me figure out what it is that I, uh, I need to think about. So super easy. And again, uh, in the TikTok shop. Um, all right. So a happy day. Let's end with something happy. All right. Let's end with something that is is a happy a happy day what is what does a happy day look like for you um what a great tool to navigate your feelings absolutely because i mean i'm pretty good at this i've been do i've been on my self loving journey now for a decade and even i need help even i'm like oh my gosh what is wrong with me what is stuck in here that i don't see what is, what is, what's wrong? And so I'll just flip through here and I'll be like, like holding on. What am I holding on to that still hurts so deeply? What am I fucking holding on to that I am still harming myself with every single day? I mean, what a simple question, but what a huge answer. And those are the things that you need to ask yourself. And those are the things that you need to figure out. That's the puzzle that is your mind. And that's the puzzle that is your journey. Again, I don't have the answer for you, but you can find that answer yourself. You just need to ask yourself the right questions. And sometimes we were led to believe that these self-love journeys are complicated and these self-love journeys are are difficult and yeah they can be difficult but they're not complicated it's just a matter of asking yourself the right questions at the right time and again unless you have something like this you not you're not going to know what questions you need to ask yourself so i'm telling you these things because this is what has worked for me all right, these kind of exercises, these kind of thought patterns, these kind of things like this is what works for me. Um, uh, to, to, oh, very good. If so long as you find it, just get grab it. But this is what has worked for me. And I get it asked all the time. How are you always so happy? And how are you always so positive? And I'm not always happy. And I'm not always positive but I'm always okay where I'm at because I know I'm on my journey, all right? It's like saying like, I'm gonna drive to San Francisco. It's like saying, I'm not gonna be happy until I get there. Well, why don't I just enjoy the drive? Why don't I just enjoy the scenery? Why don't I just enjoy the coffee that I stopped to get? That's what you need to ask yourself, everybody. We're all on a journey. And we, we, sometimes we tell ourselves we can't be happy because we're on a journey. Imagine it like being on vacation and driving. You might as well enjoy the fucking journey. So enjoy your journey. Let, and I'm not going to say let go of the past because that is physically impossible. All right. You can't let go of things that have happened to you, but you can learn to take 
ownership of it and you can learn to stop being a victim of your past. And I think that that's where we really get the most confused is because our past has victimized us and we have this victim mentality that that's as good as it gets. You know, that's what happened to me. That's what I was taught. That's what I was told. So that's the truth. Well, no, fuck that shit. That is not the truth. You can take ownership of your own emotions and figure out what it is that you want to hold on to. You know? Yeah. Um, it says, I just listened to Jelly Roll. I'm not okay, but I'm going to be all right. Thank you for the message, Lonnie. You're very welcome. And here's the thing, everybody, and I'm going to leave you with this because Indy does need a walk. We are not victims of our past. We are not victims, period. We need to start having more of a warrior attitude when it comes to our own self-happiness, all right? We need to kick our path we need to kick somebody's ass and it might as well be our past you know so remember you're not a victim anymore my friends you are warriors you are in the driver's seat you are the ones who are going to dictate what it is that you're going to take from your past and go forward with so we are victor we are victors not victims so let go of that victim mentality and start being like yeah that shit happened and here's what i'm going to do with it so I tell my kids all the time, get out of the passenger seat, get into the driver's seat and be responsible for your own life journey, period. End of story. Blade, thank you, my friend. I appreciate that, Galaxy. All right, everybody, I'm going to tell you one more time. This is the Shadow Work Journal. This is the second edition. I did buy it on the TikTok shop. It is in my shop. Definitely check it out. The link is there if you're in the U.S. If you're not in the U.S., Find it, buy it, but start putting pen to paper, everybody. Start your journey. Figure out how you can become that warrior that you need to be. All right? Um, and I 100% love you, and I know you can do this journey. I have faith in you, and I 100% know you got this. And I will be back tonight at, or today at 3 p.m., and we're going to be doing our gaming, our regular gaming channel back at 3 p.m. But this is our weekly Coffee with Lonnie. I appreciate you very much. Hopefully I gave you some information that you're going to be able to take and use. Nat, thank you, honey, for all those bits. But hopefully I gave you information that you're going to be able to take and use and start changing that mentality. Again, we're not victims. We are absolute fucking warriors. All right, everybody. Love you dearly. And I will be back. Um, and I'll be back tonight. And then of course, next Saturday again for some more coffee with Lonnie, but I love you all dearly. Make sure you check out my TikTok shop. It's there. I got all sorts of good stuff. Oh, and grab some snacks too while you're there. All right, everybody love you dearly. And I will see you all tonight. Bye everybody. Bye. All right. All right, Twitcherini, I love you dearly. I hopefully you enjoyed our coffee with me this morning. And again, remember y'all, I love y'all dearly and I have the absolute utmost confidence that you are going to be able to be the warriors and you're gonna be the warriors for yourself, all right? We're self warriors. All right, everybody, I will be back later. Love you dearly and remember, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, drink water, wear a sweater. All right, love you all. Bye, everybody. Bye.